you know, Todd Campa, who was known in the ring in NWF as Killer Campa, was a great, great character on the show. As far as how I met Todd, um, I actually knew his brother Troy. Uh, his older brother Troy and I were in the same grade, Troy Campa. Went to school with Troy, and I knew Troy long, you know, well before I knew Todd. Um, as far as Todd goes, I met, I kind of really met him through Charlie Lane. Charlie and I were good friends. We always hung out, and Todd Campa would was friends with Charlie. And you know, as as it goes, we just kind of met each other through Charlie. And um, Todd was a great friend. I mean, he really was. Back in those days, we 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 hung out all the time off the show because he was right in the neighborhood with us. And Campa was a great guy. You know, he, um, his character, Killer Campa on the show, was really good chemistry, great persona. Um, you know, you don't see him doing interviews so much. He, in fact, he, I don't think he ever really did an interview. He doesn't, he never liked doing interviews. He wasn't a talker. But in the ring, you know, his character, his style, it was great. You know, there wasn't anybody better than Killer Campa. Um, he kind of like, you know, if you if you were if you imagine Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff when he was a kid, that's that's Killer Campa. Um, he almost he had that look, you know, that that young Paul Orndorff as a kid look, and uh, that was kind of his, the kind of the character we kind of had him mimic almost was a Mr. Wonderful Orndorff, and uh, he he was great in the ring. You know, 1984, I had so many matches with Killer Campa in 1984. The Crusher Crossing versus Killer Campa, probably the biggest rivalry match of 1984. Right up there with any any other, I'd put any other match, I guess. And we worked so well in the ring. Campa, you know, we didn't, we weren't doing the, 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 the moves and everything. We're still learning the ropes and everything. We weren't perfected with the moves. So it was still very amateurish in our wrestling abilities then. But Campa to work with in the ring was smooth as silk i mean he was great to work with in the ring um could put anything over with him i mean we we could put we could, we could make a match entertaining just just because of the two personas of our characters campa was great and you know he got inducted into the hall of fame for the first year by the vote as voted on by the fans and it's no shocker you know and just think a guy who had no mic skills really didn't talk on the mic but because he had such a strong presence in that ring with his character that's what, you know, he got voted into the Hall of Fame. That says a lot right there. That's the kind of guy Campa was. He was he was really that good. And I uh one of my favorites, Killer Campa.